and then your your career is moving now. It's like at this point, it's there's a bit of rhythm going on here. Well, there was. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll come to. Uh, you know. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Most definitely. Um. You know, everyone told me when I got here, as I was leaving Chicago, people said, you know, just be prepared to not work. And I thought, well, that's like the worst bit of advice to give anybody trying to pursue anything in life. And while, yeah, maybe don't get my hopes up too much or, you know, try to pace yourself, whatever. um, I did. I kind of got out here and hit the ground running. And I think just because even in my often half glass full mentality, because that's just who I've always been. (laughs) um, I always had this little fire that said, you're going to come here and you're going to do things. And, you know, and you maybe did. one day it'll be things like Brad Pitt things. Who knows? I, like I never, who, like literally I worked with Brad Pitt. I, I mean, there's something to that manifesting thing, you know, see it and believe it. I remember sitting uh, in college, you know, when I thought I was still going to be a doctor every Thursday night, my whole floor would gather together to watch ER at eight o'clock. That was like a thing we all did because the majority of us as first year students were pre-med because who isn't when they come in as a first year student pre-med. So we'd sit there and watch it and watch it and watch it. And I remember one day out of nowhere while watching it, I let my actress, you know, wannabe self say, I'm going to be on that show one day. I just kind of said it. And this girl next to me, Emily Brennan, <clears throat> turned to me and said, oh, Lenata, that's such a pipe dream. <laughs> And I was dev- like, in that moment, I was embarrassed and devastated and hurt. I mean, I was chubby, you know, freshman 15, <laughs> pimply uh, freshman, and just so hurt. But something about it, I, you know, despite feeling like she had doused my fire in that moment, I think she just helped stoke it. And I just hadn't felt it in that moment. Because what, cause what happened next, you know, fast forward for four and a half years, the first TV show I ever booked you know, was ER. Wow. And I, I kept the dream alive somehow. And it was the first one I ever booked. And I'm walking down the streets of Chicago. Here I am a professional actress and I run into Emily Brennan and she says, Oh my God, I totally saw you on ER. And I'm like, yeah, because pipe dreams can really come true. So there's something to it. There's something to like, you know, you have to have a certain amount of talent. You have to have a certain amount of stick to itiveness. There is, I mean, it's a job where you're constantly told no. You're told no more than you're told yes. Uh, some of us have had to do undesirable things to get where we're at. I have not been one of those people who's had to, thank God. But I think there's also, we do, we do, we, we can create things. We, we have the power, again, it's energy. So we have the power to create stuff. So there is a certain level of like having to see it and believe it that exists. I don't know what tangent I've gone off on, and I'm sorry if I have. But no, it's it's a fantastic. This is I think this is it's really really important, and it's a it's a very difficult thing because we constantly battle cynicism. Yes, I still do. Yeah, on the daily. It's 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 it's, it's a problem, and we, you know, uh, I, do you find I find. I don't know, maybe it's as I've got older. I don't know. Maybe it's insecurities creeping in, but there's always there's always the devil on the shoulder that mm-hmm. sits there going, nah, nah, that won't work. That's not a good idea. Mm-hmm. And there's always... there's. This, do you have this thing where you write the dialogue of someone else's thoughts? Yeah. Uh-huh. And they tend to always be really negative. <laughs> it's just always. like they're always telling me I failed. I'm too fat. You're not tall enough. That's not going to happen. And I mean, it's crazy, but I think, and I, but I, to be fair, I do have to sort of sit and go, you know, listen, I mean, Emma Thompson, one of my favorite actresses of all time. She's the reason I am an actor. Like if I could, I would, I I think if she appeared before me, I would drop dead because I am that much a fan of Emma Thompson. I got to do Stranger Than Fiction, a film that she did with Will Smith. And I had originally been cast as a nurse who was going to play opposite Emma Thompson. And I happened to be the bridesmaid at a wedding during the time that they were shooting that. And I was devastated because literally, I I mean, I was looking at my friend going, "Mm, do I have to be at your wedding? Because it's Emma Thompson. But even that was a man, I mean, I manifested that. And, And the director liked me enough that he kept me in 
in the in the movie. So I, I can say I got to be in a movie with my favorite actress of all time. So who was in that? Um, Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell, one of the nicest human beings I have ever met. Uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal. Wow. 